Welcome to this video of Tableau Do It Yourself Concepts of Calculations presented by Bharti W Consultancy. In this video, we will understand the concept of calculations in Tableau. So, create a new TWB file using claims subset dot csv. You must download the claims subset dot csv dataset. If you don't have access, send an email to bhartiwconsultancy at gmail.com and then create an extract. So we go to Tableau and click on text file. In this, navigate to claims subset dot csv file and you can see that the data is downloaded or extract uh, picked up from the CSV file. Then click on extract to create an extract and then go to a new worksheet. Rename this worksheet as DIY with 26. and then drag and drop country field on the columns shelf. Also drag and drop paid amount and claim amount fields on the row shelf. So country on columns, paid amount and claim amount on the row shelf. Before you do that, let's understand this data to totally understand the calculations. So this is the claim subset file and you can see for India country India we have claim one claim with two line items claim items with these this much of claim amount and paid amount for US you have two claims C2 and C3 with three lines and two lines each UK has C4 with two lines and also UK has a claim C1 with two lines which means that C1 claim also is unique is not unique because it's unique to a country but in the table it's not unique so this is the data set you can see that for a claim C1 there are two items and total of claim amount is 300 and paid amount is 150. So for a claim which is for country India you have 300 claim amount with paid amount 150. The same claim with the same kind of amounts exists for UK but also UK has a claim C4. If you keep this data set in front of you when you are doing your analysis it's going to be really simple to understand the concepts of calculation. So going back to Tableau, I'm going to make sure that claim item is not a measure. It's still a dimension. So I'm going to drag and drop the dimension here. And I am going to change it, the class, to... Uh, an attribute by just dropping dragging and dropping this on the top and then I'm going to change the data type to string so you can see it shows ABC if the data type is is number you would see a hash but for now I'm gonna change it to text Alright, now dropping country to the column shelf and claim amount and paid amount to the row shelf. And from the show me section, I'm going to convert it to a text. So you can see that the claim amount is 300 and paid amount is 150. Let's compare it for India. So paid amount 
is 150 80 plus 70 and paid claim amount is 300 sorry claim amount is 300 paid amount is 150 which is here and so is the case for UK and US let's create a calculation which says ratio of paid amount to claim amount and I'm gonna call it as PC ratio so paid amount by claim amount I'm gonna show you how to create this calculation in the measures area right click say created calculations type the name PC ratio and here type paid amount by claim amount you can see the calculation is valid apply ok and drag and drop this PC ratio here and now what I'm seeing here is the PC ratio and let me just move it so 150 divided by 300 is not 1.2 it should be 1.5 sorry uh, 0.5 half right what's happening here let's dig a bit deeper and drag and drop the claim ID here still the amounts remain same you can see that country India C1 you have 150 and 300 but the ratio is 1.2 this is not correct let's see what's really going on I'm gonna go one level deeper and dropping claim item on this so you have India with one claim with two claim items which makes it 150 which makes it 300 and you see this now the ratio has been calculated which is 0.8 is correct and 0.4 is correct now let's do a subtotal to see what's going on so I'm gonna go to analysis totals and I'm gonna say add all subtotals now I understand that this PC ratio is doing a ratio at each line level and then summing it up to make it 1.2 is the case with UK US and everything which also suggests me that this is not correct I need a ratio at a country level so I'm going to correct this calculation I'm going to remove claim ID and claim item which I added for analysis and now I'm going to create the right calculation so the correct calculation is sum of paid amount upon sum of claim amount so I need to do a calculation after the sum I don't want to be calculating the ratio first and then sum so I repeat sum and then calculate the ratio rather than do the ratio and then do the sum so let's let's do the correct calculation again right click say create calculation here say ratio and now drag paid item and make sure you do a sum this would ensure that it's gonna sum up the paid amount first and then say sum of claim amount make sure the calculation is valid and then drag and drop the ratio here and now it looks correct you can see 300 150 by 300 is 0.5 300 
310 by 60 is close to 0 0.5 and 370 by 500 is 0 0.7. If I have to display ratio in two decimal places, I'm going to right click on ratio and say default properties click on number format and I'm gonna say number custom two decimal places and there you go so this is 0.52 and this is 0.74 all right so this is the concept that you have to do for a ratio sum of the units involved before you do the ratio so let's do the following hands-on exercises and this would make things more clearer for you so create a new tableau sheet and drag and drop country and do a amount per claim which is sum of claim ID and count distinct of claim ID we are going to talk about distinct in a minute so make sure you do this hands-on exercises now talking about count the count of claims let's do a calculation right click create calculated field and say count of claim ID so say count of claim ID drag and drop the count of claim and you can see it says there are two claims for India but we saw that there is only one claim for India which is C1 this means that this tableau is doing a count at the lowest level that means at a row level let's do it there you go still it says 2 and when I drag claim item it says 1 so it's doing a count at a row level and it's not understanding that I'm talking about distinct claim so I'm going to change the calculation right click edit and instead of count I'm just gonna say count D count D means distinct of claim ID distinct claim IDs there you go now it's correctly mentioning that India has a claim one one claim UK two claims and US three claims we're gonna discuss in detail about this in videos to come next exercise is create a tableau sheet and then drop the country field and then do an amount per claim paid claim which is some sum of claims amount upon so this is paid claim and this is claimed amount another exercise is again do a calculation of count of claim ID and count of claim count distinct of claim IDs and see the what the difference is with the number of rows there are some default calculations number of rows see what the difference is and one last exercise in this video is do the same thing of claim item so count of claim item count distinct of claim items and compare it with the number of rows I hope these four exercises number 39 40 41 and 42 are going to help you to understand the concepts of calculation in detail thank you for watching